Now, uh, there are products that are not approved for organic production that it, if you're not real strict on that, you may want to consider. There's a product called Abound. The active ingredient is azoxystrobin, and that is super effective against powdery mildew and anthracnose and other fungi, especially on the flowers. There's one big thing to keep in mind about that is that you may not legally spray it more than twice in one flowering season. Fungi have been known to rapidly become resistant to azoxystrobin and the following year the product not work at all. So for your sake and everybody else's sake and to obey the law, which is written on the label, uh, only spray azoxystrobin abound twice in one flowering season. If, if you do that and spray copper one time at another time, you're probably good to go without a lot of further effort. It's expensive and you must abide by that restriction, but it doesn't require agitation. Uh, it's easy to spray. Uh, keep all sprays out of your eyes and nose and mouth, but azoxystrobin is very people friendly. Another not uh, organically approved product to consider is phosphite. Now I'm not mispronouncing phosphate. Those are two different words. Phosphate is of natural origin. Phosphite is synthesized and the fact that it is strange actually causes the plant to react to it as a foreign intrusion and the plant activates its own systemic acquired resistance which is somewhat similar to an immune reaction uh, in people. It's used a lot on avocado groves in California in areas where root rot is a big issue and the phosphite is extremely effective against that. And it's also very effective against anthracnose. Uh, you need a little bit of agitation because phosphite, even though it's a clear liquid, uh, the heavier part of it does go to the bottom. So you need to agitate at least occasionally while you're spraying, but that, if you using it in a backpack sprayer, you know, if you do a slight dance once in a while, it's going to be good enough. It's not like sulfur that immediately goes straight to the bottom if there's no agitation running. Well, if you've used a bound a couple of times, uh, that with a copper will probably take care of all your fungi issues on the young fruit. Anthracnose often starts in the young fruit when the fruit is pea-sized or slightly larger. It just looks like a black, uh, a black head pimple, you know, uh, head. And it just stays that way uh, for several months until the fruit is near maturity and then it suddenly spreads. So if you've gotten the fruit protected while well, it's still size, uh, that's the biggest battle one. And if you spray copper or something else a uh, time or two after that, all the better, but uh, it's kind of optional if you've won the initial battles against the fungi and bacteria. Uh, the phosphite that I mentioned, also not for organic production, but it's uh, people friendly and uh, it is nu nutritionally useful to the plant, potassium phosphite. Uh, you can alternate that with copper uh, against anthracnose on the fruit uh, until near harvest. Do not mix copper with phosphite. All the labels will tell you that. 